and it's a it's been a, uh, a tradition that we on the 30th of May that we decorate the graves of those that have fallen and uh, that's essentially what it does in a, in a simple capsule it's a uh, it's for those that uh, served and for those that uh, for those that uh, got back it's for us all to honor those people that are that have fallen and you know no I can remember as a boy uh, the first military funeral I ever saw in the Turner Cemetery in, in Monroe County they had a, a boy that was killed and and uh, he was brought back and I still have one of the cartridges that they shot over that but you know that's that's what that was long before I ever went into service. But we've always been a patriotic people, especially here in the Bible Belt, and that's the way we are. We're more attuned to that than most 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 parts maybe of the country. But then you see such an outpouring of support in other places too. Uh, all our, uh, uh, we're still in the we're still in the majority. A lot of people are cowed and. They think it ain't cool, I guess, but uh, somebody had to do it, and they did. And I'm proud of every one of them, and I'm proud of the veterans in this county, and I'm proud of the young people today that that uh, are going into service. And uh, we even had a Marine, believe it or not, had a, a young lady that got a scholarship as a Marine in the school this time. I thought that was quite interesting. And it might be also interesting to know that the two girls that got scholarships from American Legion were also, that the fact that they were girls shows you times are changing. And their, their uh, essays were, that they wrote on uh, the, uh, for the scholarship were absolutely excellent. They, they did, they had so much good material there. And they, they, they did it very well. And these people should be proud of them. Very proud of them, I am. And uh, uh, I just uh, I just hope that people remember, not that I don't want nothing, I get nothing, I'm not, I have no pension. Never have had a pension. Probably could have got one, didn't want one. But a lot of people are that way. If you, I, I've always been able to get by without it, so I didn't take it. I, was, I always thought it was a, an honor to serve the country, and uh, it's, that's just a very little that I can do for what, what all this country's done done for me. So I am grateful and uh, very grateful, and I think more of our people should should be. They probably are, but they don't say it. They think, well, I don't need to say nothing about that to anybody, but they they should. There's some people in this county that are absolutely heroes. I can name you some. As far as they save lives, and yet every day they go about their business and they don't ask anything of anybody. And they're model citizens. They're not rioting or they're not uh, jumping up and down and hollering you know, this and that. They served, and they served, and they were proud to serve, and the good Lord let them come back to this, back to back home once again, and make their contribution to mankind. So that's what I, I would like for us to take about the, uh, about uh, Memorial Day. That that's a time to reflect and be grateful for what we have, and hopefully what we are able to keep. Now, can you tell everybody who you are and <coughs> well, I'm, everybody knows, but... I, I guess they do. I, I'm Richard Turner. I'm just a, a farm fellow out here. I've got a farm down here in the lower end of the county, in the western end of the county. And uh, I have uh, I've always been uh, interested in what goes on in our county. I want to see it do better. We want to see it. We want to see better jobs here. All these things we need for our people, and we need not be. We don't have time. We don't have a lot of time to to waste piddling and talking. We need to get about it and do things like I can name you some young people here in the county 
that have done that and they've, they've been very successful and I'm very proud of them too. The Cleary boy out here, Josh, I tell you, take Josh, uh, Josh Strong and Ashley out here and you take some of these boys that have gone and created jobs for the people in the county. And these are very important things I want to see done. And uh, anybody that cares about themselves or their future or the future of this county or country should try to help them people do those things. And that's about it. All right, thank you, Richard. Yes. Thank you for your service. Thank you, ma'am.